Hey guys, what's up? It's like 8 o'clock in the morning and I haven't got any sleep whatsoever. So, um, I'm supposed to be in class right now. Well, in a couple hours. And, um, my friend from class just texted me and she was like, you ready for the test? And I was like, what test? And she's like, the test. The first test of the year. I'm like, oh, that test. Yeah, I'm ready. Um, and I, t and I t um, messaged my teacher, teacher, um, I got food poisoning yesterday, so I'm so sick. So sick. I can't make it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So I totally blanked out. I totally forgot. And I'm in no mood to take a test right now. No condition. I'm just, I'm just out of it. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Okay, and if you haven't noticed, this is me with, this is me with, me with my natural hair. <laughs> I, was, I think, I don't wear it like this guy. I think I look like Jesus. Is that just me? Do I look like Jesus? Because that's what I think. I mean, pointers. Anywho, um, so I was renting movies, and I rented um, Little Mermaid, Ariel's Beginning. Let me just tell you, it is a really good movie. I, I, I never saw the second one, so I was like, okay, this is probably going to be bad. But it was really good. I really liked it. You should check it out. If you like The Little Mermaid, totally check it out. Okay, so about Nick's challenge, I was totally going to go to my college for the ch my college. My college is the most pretty campus. It's like right by the beach. Um, it, it, palm trees, green grass, everything. It's beautiful. So I'm totally going to do your challenge next week. I'm totally sorry. I can't do it now because for one, I just woke up and two, I'm not going out anywhere today because I'm supposed to be sick. And um, yeah, so I'm so sorry. I'll do it next week. Promise? Promise? Pinkies. Pinky swear. Okay. Okay, so now on to the questions. Okay, so Lacey asked, would I rather be a man or a woman when I look through my biases? Um, I'd rather be a woman because they get to wear the coolest, prettiest clothes. Like, I try to dress my friend up, but she doesn't let me because she's like, I like looking ugly. I'm like, fine, it's your prerogative. So that's one thing. I'd, I'd totally want to be dressed in, like, cool clothes. And I have a Betsy Johnson by my, by my house. Which is like, it's totally expensive, but it's so pretty. Go to BetsyJohnson.com. Betsy I'll put a link in the sidebar if you want to know. Such the prettiest clothes. This is, that's why I want to be a girl. Betsy Johnson. Um, next question. If I got teleported into Wonderland, what would, would I stay or would I go? Would you stay or would you go now? <coughs> Am I get, actually getting sick? Okay. I would go. Because there is a lot of things that can kill you. Um, there's that, um, there's those creepy Tweedledee and Tweedledum with the little, like, no, I don't like, I don't like that. That's not making, that doesn't make me happy. And then the freaky invisible Cheshire cat where you're just like, I'm invisible. No, you need to stop with that. You're gonna freak the shit out of me. And then the creepy queen of hearts. Uh-uh. Johnny, blind or deaf, why? Uh, you put a very good point. I always said before you said what you said. I always used to say I'd totally rather be deaf because with blind I can still see the most prettiest sights. I can still just like look at the prettiest things and see things and just my life would probably be easier when you're, yeah. But then I thought about it and you'd be so much less judgmental if you couldn't see because you wouldn't be basing it on looks, you'd be basing it on what they have to say and their voice and just, yeah, you can't be able to see them. And I could be totally like daredevil status. Yeah, and except I wouldn't be in pleather and I wouldn't be Ben Affleck, but I could totally be Daredevil status and be like, I'm a blind superhero. Yeah. Carlos, how are you? I really like this question. I really like it because it's just, it's like something that I, that you ask everyone, every, 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 like I ask my friends that and my dad that, but I never ask. Good question. That's, that's really, anyway. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. Um, just every day, every, um, every, uh. Each day that passes, I just get lonelier and lonelier and lonelier. I'm just like, I want a boyfriend. I just leave this once. And he could be like a bitch. I just want one to say, I've had a boyfriend. Because I'm like, ugh. Um, but I mean, reading Twilight. Don't read Twilight when you're single. Can I say that right now? Actually, don't read Twilight ever. Because even if you're not sing single, you want to dump your boyfriend for Edward. Well, as I do. Some people like Jacob. I'm like, you're crazy. Anyway, no. But if you, if you, if you are single, um... Yeah, totally bad times because you just feel so lonely. Like, where's my Edward? Uh, actually, I wrote a blog about that. <laughs> but besides that, I'm just doing school. I'm um, taking Japanese and screenwriting classes. Screenwriting class is so fun because that's what I want to do when I grow up. So it's like perfect, perfect. 
But yeah, just lonely, and my friends, they're kind of like, mm, I really have nothing to do. I'm 18, but I don't have my ID, so I can't really go to clubs yet. I have a fucking ID, but yeah, that's how I am. I'm okay. I guess. Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll be a 4. 4.5. Maybe 5. I have my days. So my question is, um, my question is, would you still do your YouTube videos if you only had 11 subscribers? Don't ask me why I said 11, but I just thought it was a good number. 11 subscribers, or less, I don't know, whatever. 11 subscribers, and there was really no prospect of you getting more. Like, you couldn't really respond to, you couldn't really do video responses and get more. Like, that was it. Would you still make the videos you do? And, if you, if you, decide, if you said yes, would they still be the same quality as they are now? Because I know when I was, right now, I'm like, I want to do my 50 things, my 50, what? My 50 things about me video. And I, it takes a lot of effort, a lot of time, because I write them down and film them all, and then do... And I was thinking, should I wait until I have more subscribers? Because I'm putting a lot of effort and, like, kind of, like, wasting it on not the people that watch it. And I was like, wait, but that's kind of selfish for the subscribers that subscribe and be loyal to me. So I was like, this whole Catch-22 thing. So, what did you do? Would you? Yeah? Uh-huh? No? Huh? What? Okay. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. I'm so fucking tired. It's, like, unbelievable. Ugh, I think we're starting a trend, because Lacey's tired, and then I'm tired. I'm gonna probably crash, and even though it's 8, it's 9 in the morning. I'm awful, I know, don't judge me. Actually, you can judge me all you want, because I don't fucking care, so fuck you, okay? I think this should be a trend. I think that this whole week should be your tired week. I bet you, though, because whenever I make a trend in my mind, the next day, Nick's gonna be like, I am so awake! And be like, oh, God, <laughs> because that's the way it rolls. Because... Life hates me. See, that's how I am, Carlos. Life hates me. That's basically how... Anyway, I'm an emo little whore. Um, emo kid. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm gonna go into my place of darkness.